You about to get on the door. Hee <laughs> hee hee. What's up? I ain't never went. Big shout out to Nordic ET, Holly Favor, Trenchier 813, the absurdist, Miss Myself and I, back at it, Clean Energy, Consuela Butler, RNG Top, uh, Michelle Offered, D Man Junior, big shout out to you, Big Joe Junior, big shout out to y'all. What up, though? It's your boy Bill, man. I was just sitting back thinking. Uh, it's a Saturday night, <clears throat> and I was thinking about Saturday night in the prison. You know what I'm saying? I've spent a whole lot of Saturday nights in the prison, and um, I was just thinking about it, bro. And I know. Like it's to it's totally different, but a lot of people got the similar mindset to the streets. So I kind of wanted to break it down and show y'all the difference in the weekdays on the uh, the weekends, like a Saturday night right now at nine forty two at night on Saturday. This is probably how it's going in the prison. Now this is what you got to understand. For a lot of people, the weekends in there. <coughs> is like excitement everybody loved the weekend well most people i hated it and i'm gonna tell you why in a minute everybody loved the weekend because you get to stay out longer they made this rule and i hated it when i first went in prison every single day once i got in the prison we ain't talking about the county jail but the prison we locked down at 11 30 at night and I love that. I really loved it because I wake up very early. You know what I'm saying? I wake up early every day. I'm up at like four, five o'clock every morning. So around about, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, I'm starting to get tired. I'm starting to get very tired and sleepy. So they came along with this rule where Friday nights and Saturday nights was a one o'clock night. So it went from 11.30 every day to 1 a.m. Friday night, then 1 a.m. Saturday night. I guess to let us feel like, you know, it's a weekend, y'all get to stay out a little longer. And people used to love that. I hated it so much because I used to be sleepy around 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night. And now I got to spend another hour and a half up watching all of you damn people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could never rest. I could never relax knowing the doors are still unlocked. I could never really rest until that door was closed and locked for the rest of the night. And that was really my only point of, I mean, it was kind of peace because you know, it's locked and I used to jam it up, but I mean, you got some people that could break in it. So that wasn't really fully peace, but it was somewhat of it. And uh, right now, what I would be doing if I was there, bro, nine o'clock at night on a Saturday when I didn't have a phone, I would be walking around depressed, bored as hell, probably spending all of my money paying somebody with a phone and just to use it because that's the only thing that make you feel free bro you know what i'm saying like it's, it's so depressing in there i would literally be walking around with my headphones on bored as hell listening to music thinking of a way i can get on the phone i've been on spend up all my food i ain't mean got a damn bean to eat and i'm willing to spend whatever i had to use somebody's phone Thank you, Shane Lamb. Boy, appreciate you for supporting the channel. Thank you for that super chat. So, on a Saturday night, now when I did get a phone and finally had some motion, I would be on the phone. I would probably be in my room on the phone. I didn't watch sports, so I don't give a damn what season it is. I don't care what basketball, what football game on, none of that ever, ever excited me. I would be in my room on my phone, probably talking to somebody, watching some videos of some damn uh, tigers attacking some zebras. I don't know why the hell I'm so interested in wildlife, 
stuff like that. But I used to spend a lot of time watching stuff like that. I still be doing it now. I want to go to a damn zoo, but I don't watch so many documentaries about how them wild animals broke loose. And I'd be, I'd be like, won't get me, Jack. And then, and then, okay, so on the weekday, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you wake up on a weekday, you hear people screaming, stand by for count, first session. Session, I guess the only thing I can put it in mind of for y'all to really kind of understand exactly is um like a job, like the shifts, first shift, second shift, third shift, because they got the same thing, but it's called first session, second session, third session. Basically, that means if you got a job in the prison, if you got to go take your GED class in the prison, if you got anger management class for the people that got them super duper freaky charges and the judge ordered them to go take a, uh, you know, one of them type of classes, they got three different times. They got first session, which is 7 a.m., second session, which is 9 a.m., third session, which is 1 p.m. So... You hear, I'm talking about as soon as you wake up, you hearing people screaming, stand by for count, stand by for inspection. You know, I told y'all the ward and the cert team, all the police, they come in there during the day, every day of the week. Sometimes they spare you on Friday, but they come in every day of the week and they just do like a little search, bro. And they walk around, you got to make your bed up, you got to have everything tucked in, looking good, room cleaned, all that. And they'll go through your stuff or whatever. They don't do none of that on the weekend. On the weekend, you can wake up as late as you want to wake up. The only thing that still does go on on the weekend is like your job. Like if you're a kitchen worker, then you're still going to go to work because we got to eat every day. But if I got a job, if I got a job in the education building, I'm not going to work on weekends because it ain't no class. It's only class Monday through Friday. So you don't hear none of that. Ain't no inspection team coming in there on the weekends. They're not doing no inspection. That's why so many people loved it. If you want to wake up late, you can. If you want to leave your bed a mess and your room a mess all day, you can. What's good, bro? Congrats on everything, fam. Salute from Milledgeville. Appreciate that, Eric Ford. Thank you for supporting the channel, family. I got some good people in Milledgeville. So if you want to leave your bed a mess, your room a mess, if you don't feel like sweeping, you can because ain't nobody coming in there bothering you, then most of the time, depending on where you at, because a lot of them officers really don't give a damn, to be all the way honest. Miss Jackson caught my first live. Love you, Bill. Hit that like button. Love you too, Miss Jackson. Thank you for supporting the channel. JC53, Lima Bean head there. Okay, I'm going to get you in a minute. Thank you for supporting the channel, though. So, a lot of the officers don't care. Now, they usually need you to stand up for count. So, if... You know the weekend, they got 12 hours to do it slow. A lot of the officers don't like it because it's a slow day. During the week, they busy. They got to get up. They got to always count Riri Joy. What up, though? They got to, uh, they do more counts on the weekday. The inspection team be coming down there. They finna shake somebody down. The officer got to get up, let people out, come back out, let people through the gate. It's a lot of stuff they do during the week that they don't do on the weekend. So, they more chill then. Like if, if it's a count time and they need everybody to stand up, she might come in the dorm and might not even say nothing because she might been in the booth just sleep her damn self. She might come in there just open the door, count, open the door, count. Sincerely yours, just donate. And I appreciate that, family. Thank you for supporting the channel. They might just come open the door, count, 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 and just walk out. It's far more relaxed and laid back on the weekend. Got this old lady up on a Saturday night. Appreciate that support, Ebony Williams. Shamika, appreciate it. Courtney K, appreciate that. Y'all showing love to your boy tonight. Thank y'all. So it's more laid back. Now, this is the day where the people who make buck, right? They make buck. I explained to y'all before, buck is basically a jailhouse liquor. And you can make it many, many ways. But usually the people who make it, they will time it for the weekend because it takes a few days to even make it. So they will, like, if it take two, three, four days to make it, whatever the case, they will, uh, you know, like I say, they start started on a day during the week because over time as that stuff sit, you got yeast, you got rotten fruit, 
all kind of stuff, the way they make it, and it's sitting in the bag cooking, it gives off a smell, but not instantly. It's over time it starts smelling. So they like to do it to the day where on the weekend will be the day they can have the stankiest smell if they need to because they ain't got to worry about the inspection team or nobody coming in. Then that'll be the day they take it out. Man, these folks will be cooking. Listen, man, it's a dude from, uh, I know a dude named Kurt from Macon, Georgia. If you ever see this, shout out to you, bro. He, um, bro, this man would be cooked like the weekends. This man turned to a damn chef. He would, like, he had been done buying stuff from the kitchen. The people who work in the kitchen who steal stuff from the kitchen, he had been done buying a little food from them all week. I remember one time the man had a whole bunch of, he had like a big pack of ground beef. And he'll go in his room and on his bed, he'll take his mat off the bed, throw it on the floor, wherever he decided to put it at. And then all the paint that's on the bed, he'll take some piece of metal or whatever and scrape all the paint off the bed, all the paint, at least like a big circle like this. It'll be a big circle. He'll scrape all the paint off the bed until it's just hard. Um, It was just, till it's just raw, like rust part of the bed. And then he'll do it on the bottom of the bed. Got to get all the paint off. Then he'll clean it real good. He'll disinfect it, clean it with whatever he needed to clean it with. And this man would go to grilling burgers and, and uh, Chinese rice. The man could cook so damn good, I promise you. I'm trying to think, did you get one burger or two burgers? He'll make you two burgers. Now, he got the people from the kitchen. He done bought bread, buns, um, ground beef, all kind of stuff he got. And you got to understand, we're all in prison. So whatever this man say he wants for this, you're going to pay it, at least the people who have the money, because... This food is damn near tasting free world for real. It's like it's really being grilled. They take a bunch of tissue. He'll make big rolls of tissue and he'll put it under. He'll put it on a, he'll take like a, a, a pop can, like a can of Coke, a can of Sprite. Put them on there, push all the cans together, put it under the bed, stack up all the rolls of tissue, set the tissue on fire. And uh, I guess the cans keep air going through it and it, it keeps the fire going, bro. Until all the tissue burn out, then he put some fresh tissue. And the man could cook. He'd have a, man, the man used to look crazy as hell. He'd have a towel. He'd have a shirt around his damn face like this. I got them burgers on deck. I got them burgers for sale. He'd come out screaming. He got some damn burgers for sale. He got a thing around his face, but he got it around his face because you got to think how much smoke that is. Think about when somebody barbecuing how much smoke it is coming from it. And what you got to understand is we're in this little tiny cell, this little room. And it's all good, just relax. I'm just telling them about a Saturday night in prison. And he'll have this thing around his face just so all that, you know, he don't be inhaling all that smoke. And, you know, he'll have to come out every so often because the smoke done got all in his eyes. But listen, the man would sell He'll give you two burgers and a bowl full of Chinese rice, and he wanted $50. I'm not, listen, I promise you, I think one time, I think I watched that man cook about 40 burgers. I bought two of them, and I got a little bowl of rice, and it was $50, and I paid him that $50 because that's what I wanted. And... It all sold, bro. You had people. And that's another thing about the weekends. It's more like on a weekday, if it's an officer at the booth, and, I'm, and just, let's just say we're in A building, C building all the way over there, and I go over there and be like, hey, miss such and such, man, let me run the C building, holler at my homeboy real quick. She might be like, hell no, nah, boy, the warden out there on the walk. Hell no, nah, the lieutenant out there on the walk. If they see you, I'm going to get in trouble. The warden don't work on weekends. Now, he may be there. If, if there's a reason for him to be there, but the warden really is not there on weekends. So if it's a Saturday and I'm like, hey, let me run the CB and holler at my homeboy, she might just let me go over there. You know what I'm saying? You had people coming from all kind of dorms buying food from this dude. You know what I'm saying? Then you had the other dude down here who got the wraps for sale. 
he'll make a real, real, real good rap. I'm talking about a fat rap like a burrito. He'll have all kind of meat, cheese, chopped up onions. He'll have all kind of stuff in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forgot the dude who was selling them burgers. I said $50 get you a bowl of rice and two burgers and to get you a bag of chips and an ice cold pop. He used to have a cooler with a whole bunch of pops in there. You get your choice, Sprite, Coke, Pepsi, whatever they sold on the store, he had all the pops. And for $50 on Cash App, you get two grilled burgers, a bowl of uh, Chinese rice. And I don't know how the hell he had it tasting like Chinese rice, bro, but it real life tasted like Chinese rice. And then you got the dudes with the wraps, man. They make a good, cheesy meat. I'm talking about good-ass burrito, man. And they give you a... Uh, a bag of chips and a drink with it, a cold drink. And bro, they uh they sell that for twenty five dollars. Then you got the people, man, it was just crazy, man. Then like during the week, people be tripping about um like the warden and stuff would be tripping about clothes being hanging over the rail. Now the reason they say this is because a lot of times people a lot of times people um They'll use towels, blankets, shirts, pants to block off some violence. So if I see the camera is positioned this way and is looking straight down here, if I take three shirts and hang it over this rail, the camera's view is not going to go past these shirts. So if me and a dude come on the other side of these shirts and start fighting, you're not going to be able to see what we're doing on the camera. So during the week, they make a very, very, very big issue. Very big issue with that, about that, about you having stuff lined up. So the weekends is also another good day for the laundromat hustlers. Now, you got two different types. You got the type that actually works in the laundry room for real. And, you know, if you pay them, they just put extra bleach or whatever in your clothes and then they they put it on the machine and press it. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the guys that works inside the dorm where they just regular dudes in the dorm, but they wash clothes. And that's the day they go crazy on the weekends because ain't nobody tripping about why the clothes hanging up on the weekend. Man, you have had dudes running around there washing clothes all day. But they make money doing it because a guy like myself, I used to get money. And... I used to get a, a, a fairly nice chunk of money. So when it comes to stuff like my clothes, I'm not about to sit here and wash it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to make sure this white shirt stays crispy white like this. I'm not going to do that because there's somebody else that specializes in that. And seeing that I have the money, I'm going to pay you to make sure to maintain the whiteness of my clothes. So you got guys, man, they could let their clothes soak in the mop bucket as long as they need to because they're not worried about nobody saying, man, we need the mop bucket, we need the mop bucket. Because everybody only need it on the weekdays when they're trying to hurry up and mop everything and make it look good and smell good for the inspection team. So, man, dude might wash a bucket of clothes. You got some dudes who charge cheap. And usually them like some crackheads who just trying to get geeked up and go buy something to smoke. They'll wash your whole damn box. They'll wash every pair of clothing you got for about $2. <laughs> That's not funny, but they need to damn tighten up. No, it is funny. It is funny. And then you got the other people who charge per item. The guy that I was dealing with, he charged per item. Like for, for this, he wanted an item. So it's like this. One item is considered a ramen noodle soup, right? Even though the price changed, like when I just left, I think they were 46 cents, but it used to be 39 cents when I first went in and it was, um, it was considered one item, right? So one, the item goes based off the price, but even if it's more or under certain items are just considered two items. So like, uh, a honey bun. For a long time, they was considered three items because it almost took three packs of noodles to be the same price as the honey bun. So if I want this washed and he said I want one item, I could give him a honey bun with three of these and that'll get all three of them washed. Nikki, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for supporting the channel. So I used to give him, and then for the for my state shirt, he wanted two items per shirt. For the state pants, 
he wanted three items per pants. And then for your shorts that you had somebody make, he want two items per short. So he used to make a lot of little money off me sometimes. And then I'm not the only one, though. You got plenty of other dudes. And then, like, the dude who do all the cooking. He might got a deal worked out with his laundry man where on the weekends when I cook, I'm going to give you a free meal. Just make sure I'm clean all through the week. And then on Friday, Saturday, I got you. Then we had this one dude in the dorm, man. He used to, he was funny to me at first, bro. He was real funny to me at first. He, he was a pimp. Well, he say he was a pimp. Now, on his Facebook page, I ain't gonna lie now. He been locked up for a long time. But on his Facebook page, all his old stuff would be, um, like pictures of him in suits and pictures of him with two, three females like this. He might have a little cane and stuff. So, he really, I mean, he said he was a pimp on the streets and he, like, he always talked in, um, like, he always rhymed with his words. You know what I'm saying? Like, he always had something slick to say behind something or, or you know what I'm saying? Or just rhyming some type of way, some type of damn pimp lingo or something. And he had this little thing he used to always say, and I already knew. Most of the time he used to say it, he would always say it, and um, he would always say it really when he trying to spark up a conversation to try to get something up out of you, you know what I'm saying? It was a Saturday, a Friday or Saturday, now I'm going to just go with Saturday because today's Saturday. For all the people in the chat talk about me and Banky Pond, yeah, we're going to get right, we're going to get it together, uh, we're going to get it together. We've been talking about it for a minute. We just ain't did it. Matter of fact, when I'm done with this live, I'm going to call Banky Pound and we're going to set it up, hopefully for tomorrow. I'm going to see what his schedule looking like. But, um, yeah, man, he he would always say something slick. So I'm in the room one day. I'll never forget this. I actually was kind of upset because I was missing them damn 1130 lockdowns. And it was like 1145. And I'm like, damn, man, we still out. I'm tired. I'm sitting up on the bed. But before I go into that, one thing that I did like about the weekend, you know most people with jobs get paid. Well, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of jobs pay you on Friday. I think Friday is a is a, is a a universally known payday. You know a lot of them on the first or whatever, but a lot of people make money. They get their paycheck on Friday or their family's time to send some money on Friday. So whenever I had something for sale, a lot of times the weekends I would make a lot of money because that's when people, family would give them money. But back to this dude who said he was a pimp. He, um, the dude who was a pimp, he come to my room one day, one night. I was already in there frustrated as hell. I'm sitting in there, I'm smoking a Chris Brown CD, really trying to keep myself up because I'm tired as hell. So I'm sitting there smoking. I just rolled it up. He come in there. Now he's black as hell. He got a big old afro, and he, he had a little weight on him. He wasn't fat, fat, but, you know, he had just a little size on him and stuff. And he come, he knock on the door. I don't even, damn, trying to remember his name. I can't even remember. He knock on the door. I'm like, yo, look at my candy bar. Because, you know, sometimes, man, things will be going perfectly fine in the prison. Then at nighttime, right before we lock down, it seemed like stuff would just start going left. So I always try to be on point. Like, yo. Every time he come in your room, he never walks in like a normal human being. He damn come in like, you know what I'm saying? Like he got damn doing the damn electric slide or something. He always come in people's room like that, but that's just his swag, I guess. So he come in the room, he talking about, see Bill, what's good? Or shall I say what's great besides my pimp game in a box of Frosted Flakes? So... You know, I kind of go to smile. I don't heard that. Uh, I don't heard this man say that over two hundred times, but it's still just funny. Like it's it's really funny because I know you about to ask me for something, but what you're saying is actually kind of funny too. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, you ain't no damn pimp, bro. Why you keep saying that? You not no pimp, bro. You ain't never been no pimp. The man say. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm fly, but never been on a jet. Hey, C. Bill, C. Bill, guess what? <clears throat> I could go backpedaling in a swimming pool and never get wet. 
<clears throat> and would be dead serious about it. Like, he'll say what he say, he'll be smiling, but after he say it, it ain't like no, <laughs> it ain't none of that. Like, he'll be like, I could go back pedaling in the swimming pool <laughs> and never get wet. And to have a dead serious straight face, you know what I'm saying? And when he got done that time, I knew he wanted to hit the Chris Brown CD, so I hit it one more time. I was like, you want to hit this? So he's like, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, appreciate that. So he got to reach for me. I said, you must be a damn. You must used to be a preacher or something. He told me why he said that. I said, why you always say <laughs> Oh, <laughs> why you always say that in between your little rhymes that you say? He told me that's just that's just that's just how I say it. That's just how I do it. The man had rhymes. All the damn rhymes in the world. So he tried, well, he thought that he was trying to run some type of little finesse. So he gonna tell me the dude who cooking talking about. Can he get a bomb of Chris Brown CDs? He want to take to the dude so he could get a, the two burgers and the rice and the drink and the bag of chips. And Tom Boston, he had the money back for me Saturday. Now, this is the thing. You got people that'll say like, hey, let me get this till Monday. Let me get that till Tuesday. And you know, it's like it's okay or whatever because they might have the money. They might pay you. But my thing is, how the hell you going to pull up on me Saturday and say, let me get something and I'm going to have the money Saturday. You mean, that mean off the dribble. I'm fully understanding off the dribble. I'm about to have to wait seven days before I get my damn money back. And I'm like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So he's talking. He's talking. He like, yeah, it's cool. And he's doing his little electric slide thing closer and closer to the door. I don't say nothing because... I want you to get the hell up out my room anyway. Where he thought he was being slick at was he took the Chris Brown CD with him. He didn't pass it back to me. You know what I'm saying? Now, if, if, if and then he eventually slid out the door. Now, if it was on a different type of setting where I just felt tried or I felt like, you know, whatever the case, it's ride of music. What up, dope bar? So, you know, if, if it was something where I just felt tried or something, then I would have, uh, you know, responded a little different. But I didn't care, bro. I know he just, you know, he just do stuff, say stuff. So I wasn't really tripping that. I'm just like, all right, whatever, bro. So, you know, he slide out. I, I, I ain't want to damn talk for real. No way. He coming in here with these damn nursery rhymes. I ain't want to hear it. No way. So I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. And, um, yeah, man. And the but But listen, this is for real, though. This is all jokes aside, like serious business here. What is the Chris Brown CD? It is tobacco. So, this is serious business here. The prison is depressing overall, right? Overall is depressing. Any day of the week is depressing. If you want to join, go to my page, click the um, community tab, and just scroll down until you see a link that I posted, and, and that'll let you join. But prison is depressing overall. It's born overall. If you do not have, you know, access to certain things, which a lot of people don't, it will drive you crazy. It will be very, very boring, right? The weekends is so much worse, bro, because the time seems like it's going by so much slower. It's not nothing to do. It's, I remember I'm sitting back thinking about the times, like I told y'all, my first four years, I was kind of down bad. My money was funny. It was ugly. My last five years, I pretty much was having my way. But I'm thinking about times I was lying back in the cell, bro. Stomach growling. Didn't have a crumb to eat. Definitely didn't have no money to use nobody's phone. I had already got some money from my folks last week, so they like, we well, ain't got nothing this week. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just sitting back, like I can't walk out. I can't just go nowhere. My hair ain't cut. My clothes look dirty, so I ain't got no confidence to go try to holler at now, officer. You know what I'm saying? Certain, I see people that's having the money that's that's up, up, and you know they they clothes looking good. They over there cooking, barbecuing. I smell it, smelling good. Got my damn stomach doing cartwheels. <laughs> they walking around on the phone like this. It is so depressing, bro. 
it is so depressing. Now, I, you know, I never reached the point where, you know, some people, you know, they, they, they act out the, um, you know, trying to hurt themselves. Now, I done finessed it and played games like I was attempting to do that, but I wasn't serious. I was just doing it whatever way I was trying to get trained. Whatever I was trying to do, that's just a finesse for the prison. But I never really ever attempted hurting myself or nothing like that. And can you imagine, bro, just being in a, in a, in a warehouse? Because that's all it is, bro. It's a warehouse with windows. Can you imagine being in a warehouse? You can't leave. They feed you breakfast at 4, 4.30 a.m. The breakfast is this damn big. I wish I had a, I'm going to do a video of the, um, of some of the food. I'm about to try to look and see. I'm about to try to look and see if I got some on my TikTok that I could just find real quick by some of the disgusting looking food. But they feed you breakfast between 4 4.30 a.m., damn plate be this big. Y'all get what I'm saying. And, um, oh, there's another, another thing I don't know if I told y'all. If you are not a person that's getting money or got access to money on the weekends, on the weekdays, you will be hungry as hell. On the weekends, your stomach is going to be touching your back. You is going to be starving. I'm about to explain to you why. On the weekends, the prison does not feed lunch. The prison does not feed lunch. Why don't they feed lunch? I don't know. But they don't. They don't feed lunch on the weekends. I guess because they say you're not moving around, you know, whatever the case, but... They don't give you lunch on the weekends. So on the prison, in the prison on a, on a Saturday morning, you're going to go to breakfast between 4 and 4.30 in the morning, and then you're not going to eat dinner until, I think the latest we've ever eaten dinner that I recall is probably 7 p.m., but usually that's just because they was running behind. The normal dinner time is like, 3, 3.30 p.m. So imagine this. I wake up on Saturday. I eat breakfast at 4, 4.30 p.m. It's a little one serving little baby tray that they should be serving at a damn daycare or something. What's your cash app? I want to bless you. It's right there floating at the bottom of the screen. JSXD2112. And I appreciate that. It's, um, um, 4.30 in the morning, you eat breakfast. Nasty little, small little breakfast. And then, 3.30 p.m., I eat dinner. And the dinner really might be a nasty-ass lunch. And, um, it's not, bro, you gonna be starving, bro. 3.30? By 5, by 5, 6 p.m., I'm finna be starving. And then, <clears throat> they really might give you a lunch in place of dinner. I'm about to show you. This is something I just found on my TikTok. This is something I recorded one day. I really was trying to be funny just showing people like how disgusting stuff is. But I just seen it. I'm not going to play the audio because I got the little recording lady saying something crazy. So I'm not going to re record that, but I'm just going to show you all this. Dang, you can't even really see it, can you? But just look, that ain't it. They gave us this for dinner one day. That's no lie. This is like a lunch sandwich. Look at how soggy the bread is falling apart. I know y'all can't really see it, but the bread is soaked all in collard green juice. The bread is all in collard green juice. Damn, that's what I was trying to avoid, that thing, saying that crazy stuff. I'm trying to show y'all. I think it's a better view right here. The bread is falling apart. Is soaked in collard green juice. And they will give you that on the Saturday at 3.30 p.m. and say, this is dinner. If you think I'm lying, if you know somebody in Georgia, ask them, have they ever tried them like that? That's why a lot of people say, I don't even go to, 
I'm telling you, Ryder. That's why a lot of people say, man, I don't even go to uh I don't go to chop. They 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 just um they just you know manage their food or they manage the money that they family send them so they'll never have to go. Then I know some guys that you know they family couldn't send them that much money. So they would uh they would buy food on store day and then they would go to breakfast, lunch, and dinner Monday through Thursday. Okay, damn, I almost left something out. Before I left, my last two years, they just started feeding lunch on Fridays. They was not doing that. It was Monday through Thursday. You got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they never gave lunch. But my TikTok is Bill Feasy. Something like that. But um, Bill underscore Feasy. But they, I guess people was filing complaints and writing grievances and stuff. So they started um they started giving lunch on Fridays. You know what I'm saying? On Fridays they start giving people lunch. So now it's Monday through Friday that they give lunch. And Saturday and Sunday they don't. And uh yeah, some people would get money from their family and only eat their commissary on weekends cuz they know your ass is finna be hungry. You're going to be hungry. Today. Man, weekends is when everybody having rap battles. Like the, the, the booth inside the TV room. Like if you beating on the glass, boo, 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 or whatever like that. It makes a loud bass type of sound. And um, it makes a loud bass type of sound. And you can, like people be in there rapping. You know what I'm saying? The people that rap and the people that kind of like, take that music stuff serious, man, they'll be in there rapping, having a whole cypher. Then sometimes people be so damn fire. You might, you might even had an officer. You might even had an officer might come in there and be listening to him. Officer might be down there like, I remember I heard, I knew, I knew Chain Gang was like, oh, hell no. Nah. One day when I went down there and I seen the officer down there talking about little bro go in, little bro go in. I'm like, what the hell? This the damn officer talking about little bro go in. <laughs> but weekends, that's what that's when they do all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Tiffany, Maddie White, big shout out to A Bands, big shout out to Darius M, big shout out to Unique G, Valencia Arnold, Mar Bella, it's Rider Music, Semper Solis, Save Fat Boy, DH, Terrell Rogers. I just shouted out everybody who named my scene. I just felt like shouting everybody out one time. Hey, listen, check this out. I just kind of wanted to uh Oh yeah, also, the wars, the violence is more violent on the weekend because you got less staff there. A lot of time, you know, on the on the weekday, you got a whole lot of staff members there. You know what I'm saying? Like even staff members that's not even part of security staff, you got all kind of members there. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like um everybody welcome Sharif Shakur into this membership. It's kind of like if something happens on a weekday, we got more people to respond to it. You see what I'm saying? On the weekend, you might got this little 20 year old girl down here. She weigh 105 pounds and she work in the booth and just say a war pop off. Everybody go to stabbing each other. She get on the radio and call the supervisor. Hey, they down here stabbing each other. The supervisor is one person. This is the only supervisor supervising the prison because it's a weekend. Everybody else not here. The supervisor grabs his uh, pepper spray and paintball gun, whatever he get. He screams a code over the radio, letting all of the other officers know to come out and run down here. These people are regular officers. They're not the cert team. So let's just say they are run down here. They regular people just like me and you. So they running here. Some of these people, little skinny, they see grown men running around busting each other with candy bars. What the hell you think they supposed to do? Even the supervisor with this pepper spray, yeah, he scared his ass too. She he ain't trying to run in there. So then they got to call the cert team. The cert team might be at home relaxing. They got to call up the cert team. Hey, man, these inmates down here stabbing each other up. 
It's the cert teams, they must get there. Now, you know if somebody out on vacation or something or whatever the case, but most of them live close to the prison. Cert team got to jump up, get to the prison. What if it take them 20 minutes to get there? What if I got stabbed in the neck five times 20 minutes ago and the cert team just now got here? I could be dead, folks. I can be dead. So, you know, it's a... Uh, It's a very, it's just a very disturbing, I don't like the weekend. I never like, well, I like the weekend now because I ain't in there no more and I ain't never damn going back. But I never liked the weekends in prison. I hated it. I used to like weekdays only. Weekdays only. I don't like the weekend. Now listen, check me out before I get up out of here. I got another page. I guess some of y'all don't know about it. It's called Bill Motivation. I'm going to put the link to this video in this description as soon as I get off of here. I just did this video yesterday called Why You Should Never Quit. And it is a very powerful um, motivational video. I need y'all to pull up, subscribe to this channel. I'm about to put the link in this description. Build motivation. Subscribe to this channel and watch this video. I'm about to start pumping more of those out. I actually had a lot. I deleted them all because, you know, the way I was delivering it, I was using a whole lot of profanity. That was more so when I first got out. And I know a lot of people say, you know, you got to deliver it like that sometimes. Sometimes that's the only language people understand. And I agree with that. But just me being the type of person I am and me, you know, liking certain things that I like and I don't like, I don't really like, you know, talking to somebody in a motivational way and I'm cussing every three seconds. I just don't like that. So I deleted all of those and I put new ones up. Well, I only put that one so far. Build motivation. I'm about to put it in the description. Follow that page because I need to get that monetized anyway. So I need y'all to help me out on that. Let's get that page right. Got to get them watch hours up. Got to get them subscribers up. So yeah, I, I just like to be myself. You know, I mean, now being myself is, you know, Cause sometimes when I get frustrated, bro, like like if somebody's trying to tell me some BS and I have explained to you how this is some BS, it will irk my soul that you are trying to play in a manipulation game or that you're trying to go around it or not just face the reality of it. That pisses me off really bad so then i would go to explaining it in a more aggressive way and then i probably would be cussing every three words because i don't understand how you acting like you don't understand but i'm just being you know it's a lot of younger people that look up to me man and i'm just being uh more aware i'm just being more aware of how can I send you money without a cash app? I got at the bottom of the screen, it's a Venmo tag right there. And then to the right is a cash app tag. But uh, I'm just being more aware, man. Just being more aware, being more conscious. I probably need to put that in there because some people, I guess it's been confusing some people. I'm going to specifically put cash app next to that. I'm just trying to be more aware of, you know, the influence that I give off. There's a lot of people that look up to me, especially a lot of younger people. And, you know, I don't want to be on here delivering motivational stuff to them. And I'm cussing every three seconds. I just don't like the idea of that. And then, you know, I want to get into schools and stuff. Man, they're not letting me in their damn school like that. They're not going to go for that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But, uh... The link to his membership is on the community wall. Absolutely. All right. I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. Can you dance in the bowl? I don't know what that means. Um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. Anybody who sent money on Venmo, Cash App, Super Chats, I appreciate all y'all. Even if you haven't sent a penny, but you like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate you equally. Um I, listen, I appreciate all of the financial donations, but what I want y'all to do overall, man, share this with somebody that you feel like needed, even if it's not this video specifically, because I'm really just telling about 
how it is on the weekend. But my other videos that hold very, very powerful messages, please just share it with somebody that you feel like needed. I feel like that's more important than you giving me some money and donating to me because, man, I just, I know I'm not going to be able to get everybody. I know some people going to listen to me and be like, man, that bald head of that nigga talking that bush. I understand that. But I do know it's some people that will listen to me and be like, damn, bro, I'm about to tighten up. I'm about to stop. You know what I'm saying? So just share it with somebody who might be struggling with trying to find a self or, you know, back and forth in and out with the streets. I appreciate you sharing that video more than anything. Um, what's the cash app? Cash app is floating at the bottom of the screen. I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. I'm about to get off of here. Um, and I'm about to put that link to that Bill Motivation in this description. Go check me out. I need y'all support on that. It's your boy Bill. I'm gone.